Fitness Pro Mentors community, welcome to another masterclass. My name is Brandon. If we have not met before, I love helping personal trainers like you two to three X their business because frankly, at the end of the day, if you're making more money, you're helping more people, you've got a sustainable career, you're going to make a bigger impact. And in-person personal training is an incredible career and all of you should strive to be the best in your in your world. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about three simple hacks to elevating your website to being a top notch website. Now, as we're going through this, if you have any questions, please ask them below and I'll happily address them personally after because I want to make sure you have everything that you need to have an incredible website. Now, first and foremost, these three hacks for an engaging website are the exact hacks I have given multiple students in our Fitness Pro Mentorship, and many students have made these changes and have gotten more clients by the end of the week. One got three new clients in one week from making just these changes that we're going to talk about today. All of these are just the introduction of things you can do with your website. I will say this before we jump in. There is an entire world of SEO, search engine optimization, that we're not dabbling in because in my opinion... That's very important, but getting the foundation of creating a website that is an engaging, visual, client-friendly sales page is far more important before you start optimizing it to be seen by the people that you want to see it. So jumping into today, I want to talk about a couple key items. First and foremost, if you're going to design a website, any piece of content, we need to know one thing that's extremely important. We need to know who your profitable client avatar is. I've changed this. I used to just say client avatar. And the truth is, many of you have a specific niche of people that you want to fulfill. But if we're choosing a profitable client avatar, there are specific people who have pains of some sort, be it weight loss, hypertrophy, something that what we do with exercise can make an incredible change. And if we understand these pains of these people who actually have the resources that can afford us, boy, we can create a really incredible business and charge over $100 an hour servicing a group of people that are not being serviced. And that's the real magic. There is this schism of three things that I want you to think about as we go through this website. And it's one, you do need to know your avatar's pains. You need to know the psychographics. And why I say this is whenever I look at any website, every person I talk to when I talk about websites get overwhelmed with, I work with so many different demographics. That's fine. The truth is we work with a ton of different demographics and I'll show you our website here in a moment because truth is it is stressful when you think about demographics, right? The age of people, uh, their status, all that stuff, education. But psychographic pains are really what we're aiming towards. We did a sales call with Miro Mavridis the other day, and it was great. He talks about people making purchase based off of emotion, but they stay because of science. Well, we need to understand the real reasons why people are in front of us, and if we can design a website that speaks to the pains of the individual, boy, we're going to hit home. Next, we need to make sure our messaging is abundantly clear. Once we know those pains, we're not going to use those in a manipulative sense. All of our content is going to be about talking about the dream outcome that we can provide with our incredible services. You don't want to use big fancy words. We're going to talk about this in a minute, but we want to know the pains so we can design a dream outcome. And then from there, we want to build trust. How do we build social proof that what we do actually works? And if you have the pains and you're showing the dream outcome of how you provide resolution to those pains and you have real people who are speaking on your behalf and showcasing people like me go to places like this, boy, you're going to crush it. And that's where on the side, you need to showcase consistent client wins and build community trust. And if you build trust in your community and on your website instantly and faster, the cold, warm to hot transition ends up going a lot faster. Now, I have this thing I say in our mentorship, and I will say that I'm actually helping a pretty prolific figure person right now. And they are seen by a lot of people. And we did one little campaign and they got 120 new clients. And it's because they have been seen from their notoriety. Most of our problem is that we are not being seen by the right people. If you are seen and engaged in a way that people go, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I need, you will have a higher likelihood of getting high quality leads that go the direction that you want. Now, we use seen as an acronym. I want to make sure that your website, your content, your lead magnets, anything you create is shareable, engaging, educational, and nurturing. Nurturing, really making sure that you're appealing to the individual's pains and showing the dream outcome. If it's such great content that it's engaging and educational and appeases someone's concerns around how you can help their specific problem because their problem is unique and no one's been able to help it before, they will share it with their friends and family. They will show the website and you want to make sure that your website is something that lines up with that. This turns into a conversation around knowing who you're designing the website for. I'm a young person who loves working out aggressively. I like hard music. I love playing drums. I like black on black on black motif. And I'm specifically a unique person. 
The problem is many of us, like me, have designed websites in the past based off of our values and preferences. Oh, that looks cool. We'll do black on black on black with a little bit of white, hence the shirt. But when we think about our client avatars, if we're designing things for our clients, if we're designing something to connect with our clients, we have to know that niche and what colors they like, what flavors they like, what brands they like, what they like to see. And in most cases, what we like, it doesn't work. If we look at this picture and you can see there's a broad array of demographics of people that come to our website, to our business. And if you look at this, each one of these people, if you look at that person, well, what kind of website would that person like? Like the gentleman right in the middle, the South Asian gentleman right in the middle in the bluish shirt. What kind of website would he like? What kind of website would engage him? Right? Because you can imagine if you're thinking of your great grandfather, what kind of content would they read to go, oh my gosh, this is what I need. He was one of my most tenure clients before he passed away. Rest in peace, Manny, one of the most incredible people I've ever met. But he found my website, found my information, and the messaging connected with him, and he'd never exercised before me. And that's a real beautiful thing. And so what we're going to do as we go through this is I want to dissuade you from using scientific jargon and overwhelming people with post-activation potentiation and all these massive words that I've learned and love to use, strength profile, resistance curves, all that stuff. It's great. You need to know that stuff and that will keep people in your world. Your website can't have that on the front page. It can't. Because when I look at this person right here on this page here, this lady's name is Anne. She's a client of mine, been with me for 15 years. Um, that stuff wouldn't connect with her. It doesn't make any sense. She doesn't even know, need, to, need to know what a moment arm is. But what she needs to know is that people like her to come places like this. And this is where social proof like this, where I've got content on my website that's clearly showcasing, and I'll show you in a second what I mean, clearly showcasing client wins is one of the easiest and fastest ways to drink, bring more people like those people into your world. So this is social proof. This is actually a social media post that we did of Anne, and she sent me a text message that says, my back has never felt better. And then we did a little bit more about exactly what we did. So you want some examples? Well, first of all, let's design a website for the people that you're actually servicing, the people who can afford your stuff, have the resources, have the pains, and is a growing market. And that's what all these people are. And it starts with showcasing more of those people. And truth is, we've been doing a lot of collaborations locally, which have been really incredible. And we're trying to showcase these collaborations more. And this is where even when I'm designing content to promote our collaborations, and we're choosing who we're going to collaborate with, this uh, naturopathic doctor, Dr. Olivia Greenspan, is a perfect example of someone that is not some person or profession that I'm personally interested in, but our avatar is. They are looking for naturopathic doctors and holistic doctors. And so this is even when we're designing content and websites and even promoting events, it has to be things that line up with these people. Way more of my clients are interested in heart health from a naturopathic doctor than they are in learning three exercises to grow bigger biceps. Hence collaborations and hence knowing who our audience is. Now I'm going to move into the next point and it's creating a visually engaging website. I am a gigantic fan of photography. If you're designing a website, do not just use it as an explaining page like a blog. Don't explain what you do and who you see. Show your prospects. Show your prospects who you see exemplify them because the truth is the people in your business are 100% way better at telling stories about who comes to your business and who you help and what you do than you could ever do. This is getting a bit informal, but nothing drives me nuts more than when I go to a website and it is just lines of text and the messaging that really connects with the avatar, like the person, right? Like, what is it that you do? Well, I help people exercise and pay, move pain-free so they can do more with their life and they can absolutely feel good and be happy playing with their grandkids, right? They got that in like a little sentence that's like underneath the picture and you have to like zoom in to see it. It's not going to help you. And this is the truth is that if you have an image, make sure that it's do, the image is saying something. Right? If you look at a picture of an exercise machine, that doesn't say anything. If you got MedEx machines or CrossFit bars, that's great. It doesn't say anything. What we want to make sure is that your content is telling a story in itself and draws people in. And I'll tell you, if you want to make an investment, buy an expensive, high-quality photography camera that has some good depth of field and learn how to take pictures. Because that's the one thing that I've done in every picture on this website, except for even one that I'm looking at right now was taken by me. And it's been the best investment because truth is high quality, visually engaging content draws people in. How you do one thing is how you do everything. And this is where people hire photographers all the time. 
I want to showcase how we're using high quality visual content to engage people. Images way more than words. And the third piece is tell a story. So we got three things and we're going to connect this all into our website here in a quick second. One, know who you are communicating to. Two, visually engaging content. Have your content tell a story. Now, there's a very simple outline that we teach in our storytelling component of our mentorship, which extends far beyond just telling a story. It's everything from how you write social media, sales copy, websites, emails, really anything that you write something, you're trying to engage somebody, you're trying to get someone, you're compelling someone to do something. We have a very simple storytelling method, but I'll tell you this, cold leads, they're only going to read the hook. They're only going to read the first few words. You got a couple words to capture people. And if you got something that's not interesting to pull people in, have an emotional response so they read the next part, those cold leads are going to move on. Warm leads are going to read a little bit more. They're going to read the hook and they might read some of the supporting content and they're going to stop if the supporting content doesn't drive them on to the next part. Hot leads, people who are super interested are going to read the hook, they're going to read the content and they're going to go to the call to action and they're going to do stuff. And you know these people because they've already emailed you and said, I'm interested in working with you. We need to get really good at capturing those cold and warm leads because those are the people that are falling through the cracks. And that comes from a compelling story, a proper story. How many movies have you seen where you start watching the movie? You're like, I don't know what this movie's about. And then the first five minutes, there's something crazy that happens that pulls you in. And you're like, oh my gosh. Well, how do we do that with a website? And how do we do it for our client avatar, our audience? So I'll tell you what, let's take a minute and we're going to actually look at Strata's website as an example because I think this is going to make it really, really easy to kind of add some context here. So remember, the three things. Know who you're designing the website for, visually engaging content, and making sure you're telling a story. So when you first visit Strata Internal Performance's website, you will see it is not a Brandon showcase. It is not a trainer showcase. We are clearly showcasing the wins and happiness and the victories of the people that come here. This woman on the left, it is atypical for you to see a woman like her in a gym like ours. Also, hence why our walls are yellow, because it makes everything stand out and helps us stand out in the town compared to everyone else's dark, dingy, cool looking gym, which I think looks cool, but doesn't help with branding. As we go through this again, we're trying to showcase demographics of people that come here that don't look like other people, that are of ages and quality, that are different. And we still get to sneakily showcase an engaging photo of our unique prime trap bar that no one else in town has, but it's really about the person using the unique stuff rather than the unique thing. It's clear from a photo like this this is a picture of one of our trainers, but it's not showcasing, hey, this is Margaret. It's showcasing the precision and focus that we put into each individual person. This photo tells a story. This is about Fitness Pro mentors. That doesn't tell a great story, even though it does. But this is one of my favorite photos, and it's a picture of one of our clients, Dave, and one of our trainers, Chris. And you can see that I clearly, I did this photo. I took a clear picture of Dave right up front in focus, and the trainer is blurry. This person, no one sees this person in the gym. No one sees this person working this hard. And when you see so many people like Dave coming here, like Manny coming here, it showcases that we're different and helps these people, once they see our website, instantly know what we do. Look, faster pain management. We're not saying we're therapists. We're just saying that we can help you faster than other people. So if we scoot through this a little bit more, Pain-free exercise engineered for you so you can feel better, faster, longer to get more out of life. Move better, feel better, live longer. That little statement right there, some people read it, some don't. It's extremely clear what we're trying to do. We're trying to help you get more out of life. And I want everyone here to live longer is 100% my mission with this website. But truth is, most people don't read that stuff. Most people don't spend the time to look at all the details on the website. But what they do do is they like stories. And so what I would encourage everyone here to do, and I can't do this on my software, is go to our website, straticinternalperformance.com, and watch this video right here. Because this video right here is a six-minute long video. And if you're like, well, I want to explain what I do. I want to science this thing up. Good. That's what I did here. But this video is me scientifically explaining our current process with high quality video. I've invested a lot in learning of that because how I do one thing is how I do everything. But the truth is, 
thank goodness for technology. I have the iPhone 13, and right now, the iPhones have incredible cinematic video modes, so you can buy a phone with a good camera, and you can make video that looks like this. But this video is clearly showcasing me explaining science, but, but instead of it being a narration of all the fancy stuff, I interlay small testimonials of a ton of different clients reinforcing the story. Because the truth is, yes, we use some unique potentiation ideas and the way we think about motor learning to progress people to exercise programs to make long-term changes. I love it. But way better is when people are reinforcing that story. Now, say you're not interested in watching a six minute long video. Let's move on to the next part of the story. Well, the truth is engaging content, we're there. It's clear who we speak to. But the thing that we all struggle with is demographically, we work with so many different people, right? Well, the truth is psychographically, you work with the same people because those are people who keep coming back and keep spending money on you. And you can have a wide array of demographics, 25 year old athlete, 45 year old athlete, 75-year-old grandfather who's never worked out in his life, 85-year-old person who's told they're going to be a wheelchair and they need to get support so they don't have that happen. Well, check this out. We've got someone who's recovering from pain faster, who is obviously a white hair workout person. Cool. That's kind of colloquial for this industry. Wait, wait a second here. Helps with chronic heart issues, active aging. Well, this individual doesn't look like someone who comes here. Totally different demographic. Active aging so you can move easier always, right? So we've got two different demographics here already. Next, joint replacement and surgery support to prepare and recover faster. Oh my gosh. And this is incredible because this, it's like, wait a second, this woman's healthy picking up big weights and she had a joint replacement. She actually had four, by the way. Each of these videos is reinforcing that story where that person is telling that part of the story. Next down here, right? Fitness now pays long-term dividends. This is a very fit, healthy person. I see her every morning and I love it. And she's afraid of the effects of aging. Hence why she comes in here and she talks about that. Do you know any clients that can relate to that? Well, what about the pro athletes that you work with? Well, I get to work with a few high-end people. And here's an example of an NHL athlete who's retired and had some big problems and how we help them with our unique process. And then don't forget about the busy moms or the busy grandmothers who have aches and pains and problems. We have that hook at the very beginning where this entire thing is a visually engaging website that pulls people in and instantly each photo tells a story to someone. People like me go to places like this. This video has me academically, academically explain it, but some people not interested in that. So why not listen to people like you, people like them, listen to people like them, tell the story of their success in this place. And that's where there's seven videos like this and there's even more. As people scoot through this, there's an immediate call to action to join our exclusive community for free webinars, fitness advice, interviews, and it showcases way more people that come here. And if people are really nerdy, there's some more stuff down here. And finally it says, how do I get started? Click here. So the truth is, if we look at a website like that, and please check out stratainternalperformance.com for more information, it's not complicated. It's a bunch of videos. And I'll be honest, I am not a web developer. I designed that website using Wix.com. Not expensive, very easy, took some time to build it up, but the visuals sell it. Who I speak to is clear. The engaging visuals work. And then three, it's all about the story of who we help. And each video is a micro story. The entire website is a story, macro story, with micro stories in between for specific demographics. Simple creative decisions can be game changing. And I would encourage all of you to practice a high level of creativity because the more creative you can get, the better and someone said, great stuff, love your website. Hey, thank you so much for checking that out. Super appreciate it. So I will throw this out there to anyone that watches this right now. Listen, I will tell you that we have students that are paying a little bit of money to go through our program and we spend a lot of time on the website. I will do a free audit with anyone that comments below audit. If you comment below, I will absolutely help you look at your website and I will send you a personalized video and I'll tell you exactly what you can do to make some simple changes right away to level up your website. Because truth be told, if you make a simple change in your website, that is an automation that will work for you. And the number of times I look at people's websites and I'm like, well, of course, nothing's going to happen here. And it's because it's just small things that you do at a high level with some precision over time that makes a huge difference. Creative decisions go a long way. And once you get good at that, it takes almost no effort to make the next part of this process happen. So very quickly, I would like to finish off with my beautiful daughter, Hayden, 
She's saying, and I'm saying, thank you so much for watching. If you found this value valuable, please comment below, thumbs up. Let me know how this was, and let me know if you have any questions at all around website development and helping optimize your world. Truth is, our mentorship is helping tons of trainers like you every single day scale. I just had another student 3X their business in the last few weeks. It's awesome. People are crushing it, and it's all from these simple things that we're talking about strategically implemented to get the results that they want. So everyone, my name's Brandon. Music. Ah. Thanks so much for watching. At the end of the day, we want you to 2 to 3X your business, and I think simple steps like this go a really long way. So thank you so much for watching. Please comment below, and don't forget, Audit below and I'll help you clean up your website as fast as possible. Really excited? Have a wonderful weekend.